Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be reviewing a Mini Cooper two-door with the three-cylinder powertrain. I'm making this video because a subscriber requested to do so. If you have any requests, always include those in this comment section down below. But anyways, before we get into this review, I do wanna say a huge shout out and thank you to the Mini of Murray for giving me some time with this Mini Cooper. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have. If you have any questions, just ask for Chris. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a turbocharged 1.5 liter three cylinder that goes through a six speed manual transmission. Power outputs are 134 horsepower and then 162 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 27 around town and then 38 on the highway. And then of course this has the Mini Cooper thing with the hood where you have the cutouts for the lights because the lights are fixed in place. I know, it's, it's a cool thing, I think. Um, but anyways, let us uh, close this and also look at the Mini logo right there. Now before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see everything's blacked out in this car, which I think looks fantastic. You got the mini logo there, front and center, and then the signature circular light design. And then I love the grill here. You can see it's mostly closed off. Again, you're not gonna need a ton of airflow for a three-cylinder engine. But putting it all together, the contrast between the silver and the black in this car looks really sharp. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 175, 65, 15 in the front and over in the rear. I mean, I know cars that have brakes that are bigger than these wheels. That is so crazy, but that means it's gonna be really affordable when you change tires with this car. But you guys can see with the big chunky fender flare and then that continues along the side here. I like that little accent piece, that's pretty cool. And I love the look of the mirror here. And you guys can see with the chrome on the door handle and then at the bottom of the windows. And then here is your full side view with the Mini Cooper. Now, take a look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. We got the opening here for the hatch. We'll just unlock it, that is. And popping into said hatch, you guys can see there's quite a bit of storage space for how small this car is. Again, this thing is tiny. You can't really tell unless you see one in person. Um, but we do have a cargo cover built in from the factory, which I think is pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, when you're all done, just kind of up. We of course have the British flag as the taillight design, which is a really cool element. And then you can see it just says Cooper. <laughs> that is it because it's a Mini Cooper. Um, we've got the singular exhaust tip there and then you actually have parking sensors in the back. Putting it all together, this is very simplistic with the design, but it's distinctively Mini and I really like how simplistic this build is so far. Now, take a look at the door panel. It's actually soft touch, and you can see more down below where you're going to rest your arm. Really nice finish here on the window controls, and I love the handle there. And you guys can see the mirror as well. And then we do have the mirror adjustments, and then look at the speaker here for the sound system. And then we're going to pull this back. Uh, being a two-door Mini means that, well, accessing the back seats is like accessing the back seats in well, any two-door car. Uh, they're actually really nice with the material use. Legroom is going to be a little bit more on the cramped side of things, uh, but headroom's great because it's a Mini, and it has infinite headroom, basically. And I like the perforated trim here on the seats. I think that looks great. You got your manual adjustments there on the side. And then the three pedal layout. Look at the shape of the pedals. Light control right there. And then you can see here with the vent. And then the dash is soft touch. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you got soft touch all around. We've got our cruise control here, you got your voice command, phone controls, all of that as well. And then you guys can see with the regular stocks here on the back too. Now, just like other minis, you've got the cool digital gauge close that actually moves with the steering wheel and the design, even though digital kind of has more of a retro feel to it. And then in reverse, we do have a traditional backup camera, trajectory lines turn with the steering wheel so pretty straightforward and then as for the rest of the infotainment system it's got mini's cool unit where again has this retro theme like for example with the volume as you turn it up it'll kind of go on the side there so it just adds to the fun of the car and that's the big thing about this car is it's a car that you experience as much as you drive single zone climate controls down below and then you guys can see here with the you know rest of the climate controls so you got your auto stop start here and then i love the engine stop start button and then your stability control and just like the aircraft theme in general is really cool got little usb down there and then shifter for the manual transmission reverse is interesting you just push it over and that's how you get into reverse and then this is the analog control for the infotainment system if you don't want to use the touch screen and then you actually get a regular brake center console minis is hilarious also that design inside is pretty cool but just how this is like placed above the brake i don't know i think that's kind of funny 
Uh, but then glove box, yeah, pretty normal. I like this trim on the dash, that's nice. And then more of that aircraft theme there up top. So here's our window sticker. You guys can see the base price and then the total MSRP there, $27,990. That is the definition of affordable. That's about the same price as the average used car. And this is brand new, full warranty, all of that. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off here. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, the rest of the rear, and <laughs> parking brake center console situation is slightly awkward, but let us set off. And by the way, sorry if this isn't the best GoPro view, um, just because of how the, let me see if I can make this view a little bit better for you guys. I was gonna say, just because of how the car is set up, it's kind of difficult to get a good, ah, I mean, I feel like I'm like gangster leaning in the car now, but you guys should at least have a pretty good view now out of the car. Okay, there we go. I had it in auto before. We'll put it back in auto. So you have three-cylinder uh, Mini. I, to be honest, again, I'm, I'm still, like, learning about the uh, Mini brand. I did not know they made a three-cylinder Mini. And so, yeah, this is going to be an interesting review for me because I've never reviewed this powertrain. Center console's weird. That is just weird. I, I think I'd rather... Yeah, the, the, you can move it all the way back. I think I'd rather have that, because otherwise your arm's kind of like awkwardly resting on it and it's just weird with the manual. But it looks like we got lucky here. We've got a green light. So we'll see how this three cylinder performs. We're behind, of course, a Toyota Tundra, which is the slowest vehicle on earth. I'm just kidding. They're not that slow, but they kind of are. <laughs> This ain't bad. This is not bad at all. It's I wouldn't I wouldn't call it like quick or anything, but it's it's not. It's like it feels like it's got solid power. Again, you hear the power figures and you're like, ah, it's not that much. But uh, you got to remember this this car is tiny. It is tiny. It's like a Mazda Miata size, pretty much. Not well. Yeah, actually, I feel like it's I feel like it's pretty pretty much there. Drives really well, it's super comfortable with the suspension and everything. Manual is easy to use. Now, I don't think this has the auto rev match like you can get in the, I don't, unless I'm not looking in the right place, but I don't think I see anything for it. Like what you can get in the more upgraded minis because usually that comes with like when you pop into the sport mode, it'll do the, it'll turn on the auto rev match. Um, but not a big deal uh, again, but I mean that's the one thing to understand is the three cylinder is not gonna be the most blippable Engine you could get used to it, but definitely have a learning curve. So it's easy to drive um, but not the easiest to rev match. I think that would be a good way to Describe this Okay <laughs> Wow yeah, it's, it's fun. It's again, it's not like, it's not gonna knock your socks off in terms of the acceleration, but it's, it's fun. It's fun. And you can actually, the thing that I think is really cool, just like the Mazda Miata, you can have fun. That was a bad rev match. <laughs> I'm trying. You can have fun with this car legally. Like you can go through the gears and you're not gonna be breaking the law. Again, just like the Miata. It's, it's crazy the similarities between them. And I'm saying that out of respect, like I love the Mazda Miata. I think it's a fantastic car. So to cap things off with our three cylinder Mini Cooper review, again, for how little power it has, it actually feels quick. Like you put this amount of horsepower in any other car and it's gonna feel like a dog. This actually feels quick for the amount of power that it doesn't have. Um, it's, it drives well. It, it's it's comfortable and it's fun. I think that's a big thing is the steering's good. Uh, the shifter, it's not like the best manual transmission shifter on the planet, but it's engaging because it's manual. <laughs> so I think it's got I think it's got quite a bit going for it. It's it's a nice setup overall. And so yeah, when you when you put it all together, this drives well, it looks fantastic, it's very reasonably priced. I mean, again, it's the same price as the average pre-owned car on today's market. And so yeah, I guess we'll, I don't know, I don't know what I'm entitled this video, but this is basically the Mazda Miata of minis. It's small, 
It's lightweight and it is not the most powerful, but that's not what this is about. This is about just having fun. And I guess I'll, we'll close things off with one more acceleration for you guys. Also, I just fogged up that window so bad. I hate using climate controls when I uh, do these uh, reviews, so. <laughs> Such a fun car. Let me know what you think.